Hi everyone, I'm here to share another really adorable easy mini album that I created. So um, this will be perfect for flat mail. As you can see, I did make it a little chunky. Um, there's things you can do, I, you know, to not make it this way, but this will actually fit great in flat mail as long as you don't make it too bulky. So um, on the cover, as you can see, it's kind of opaque and it's got like an ir like a very light um, look to it. That there is vellum that I covered uh, the cover with. And I'm, when I go through this mini album, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's inside of it because I want you guys to have ideas for your um, snail mail and all that. So um, I created the band right here and I have this vellum shaker that I made and I just added like, you know, the bunting flag things on there, which I had a die for that and a tag. And I thought a really beautiful scrap paper is always nice because they can make their own projects that they want out of there. Here I have a coin pocket. Um, again, this is what kind of makes the bulk. So you don't have to have this, but this will also flatten down if, as long as you don't, you know, tuck in as much as I did. Um, right here I created another pocket and inside I added a tag and I had a die cut for a recipe card. So I added that. I thought that would be like sweet and they can make a memory dex or um, just a recipe card for that. And here I have a journaling card that I made and it's a shaker. And just added some clips with tags. So if they want tag you can add that on there. And here I kind of left this blank because I thought this would be a great place to place a note or whatever you can think of. And um, in this pocket here, I have some more tags and this is actually something you could hold washi with or twine. And this was a die cut that I got from Peachy Cheap a couple months back. It's probably one of my favorite dies because um, you can add whatever you want on there and laminate it to make it a little bit more stable. These ends here, I created um, just the doilies that I use, the Coco Marina ones that I love to use. And then here I just added two more pockets so you can fit in, you know, as many tuck-ins and goodies as you want. This um, was a tag die that I made. Um, it's a Magnolia die. She's like very shabby chic and detailed. Um, this is very old. I got this very, like probably when I started scrapbooking, but it is one of my favorites. Um, this is another project card and again, I use the ruffles which the Vintage Goose inspired me with that because she's so good at them. And then um, here I have added some bag toppers. Um, this was a die and then a memory dex I cut out with my die and just a blank like project card I thought would be nice. And they can decorate themselves. And then I just added these, um, you know, little bunting things so they can have that too. So let's get started. This is super easy and I can't wait to share. So we're going to start with um, five six by six papers. So go ahead and pick that out. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so the first paper you're gonna pick is gonna be your cover. Okay, so your cover, what you're going to do is score it at a half an inch. This is kind of like our other albums, but just a little different. So we're gonna have this little score here and you're gonna fold it, okay? That's gonna be your hover. Now, um, now we're gonna go ahead and do this page right here. So this, as you can see, is like just a folded pocket. So you're gonna go ahead and take your next six by six paper Okay, and this is gonna simply be placed, you're gonna simply glue this. You're gonna glue it right on there. But before you do that, this is when you want to decide where your pocket is going to fold right here. 
So um, I like to score mine at like two inch right there. You don't have to do that. You can just eyeball it and fold it when you're done or you can score it right now, which I'm gonna do. Um, and that's gonna create that pocket, okay? So go ahead and glue that down. So I am gluing it down right here. Oops, I just put that the wrong way. Okay, so that's gonna be your first page right there. Now you're gonna go ahead and glue down this pocket. Now you don't even have to have a pocket here. If you want, you can just slap on that page right there and um, make it just like that. So I'm just gonna hold this for a second. Okay, so right there is going to be your first page. So the next page, we're gonna go ahead and score it again, another page at a half an inch. So score it again a half an inch. I hope this is easy. I'm kind of confusing myself that it's really easy. Basically, just scoring at a half an inch the whole way you go. Okay, and then right here, we're gonna be gluing it down to this page. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and score it again at two inches right here. Again, you can eyeball this or um, you can do that. So let me glue this down. You take your little tab and glue it again. Okay, and if you want, you could even leave this like this just to make it like a little like, you know, flap. And you can add things here and here, but I'm gonna go ahead and seal mine just because I want it to be identical to the one that I created. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and flip that. So again, you're gonna take your six by six paper. Okay, your next one and just score it again at a half an inch. And place it and just glue it down right here. So this is very similar to that method where I cut the strips, except this one you don't have to cut anything. You just kind of go along. So you can make your whole book like this. but I'm just showing you different ways that I do mine. So right there, oop, it is totally falling off. Okay, so that's this right here. And then again, I put one more page. So go ahead and score it again at a half an inch. Sorry, I'm just doing that, you know, score for anyone following along who may not speak English, which is great. I wish I knew every language because I would totally do that. Okay, and just glue it down right here. Super easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and just flip through. So this is going to be our cover. So when you open it, you should have that page and then your pockets and then another extra page and then your last page, okay? So let's go ahead and do this now. So let's go ahead and start with the cover. So the cover, is gonna be a vellum sheet, and it's going to be six by five and a half. Now, I would even just cut it just a tiny little bit right before that, okay? 
And then your strip, um, you can do it whatever you want, but I did two by five and a half. Um, so to make it like that little like, you know, opaque thing, I just go ahead and glue that down. So make sure you have a really good glue for this or rub it out, maybe even one of those like rolly glues because you will see these a little these lines in the vellum if you don't kind of like rub it through. So I'm just trying to get those lines out with my finger so that you don't see them. Okay, so that gives it that really pretty looking effect to it. And then you just take like a scrap or anything and just, you know, put it on the front. So again, my strip is going to be two by five and a half. That's this right here. Cut. This is just a scrap. So I'm using like all my scraps for this part. This was a six by eight paper pad that I was using, but six by six, all you're basically doing is using a six by six paper pad. Ooh, I forgot some glue in the end there. Okay, so just go ahead and glue that down. Okay, and then at this point, you're gonna go ahead and add all your little pretty things. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the next page for now. So right here, you wanna create your belly band, which um, for the belly bands, I just use like a um, two by six strip. So I just kinda make it two inches. So I do like a two by six. It could even be whatever you want and just like glue that down right there. So it's going to go ahead and create your little, ooh, I was wondering why that was so long. So it's going to go ahead and create your little band. Okay, the pocket I'll do last for those who may not even want to do a pocket. Okay, and then right here for like the little detail, I like to um, take like just a shorter size paper and um, measure it down. So what I'll do is like these pockets are two inches. So what I'll do is I'll um, cut down the strip to about one and a half inch. So, so one and a half by six. And then I'll just kind of like lay it down right here. So that gives it that 3D look. If it's like just the pockets, that's fine. But this is going to give it that like little three dimensional look that you want. And then here I just added, you know, a little um, line of uh, washi glitter. And then for this pocket right here, I just cut a paper that's about two and three quarters by six inches. And what I did is I basically just folded it in half and punched it. Okay, I didn't do any fancy pockets and then I just glued it right here. Okay, and then I placed that right there. And then I also had added a doily before that, but I actually ran out of white doilies, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. And then these pocket sides right here are just two um, three by six papers. So you just grab two of these. Basically what I do is just take a six by six and I split it in half. So go ahead. 
have and find and I'm, this is the line that I'm using by the way the other one that I used for that book is um, my mind's eye splendid Had um, started using a different collection, but I kind of ran out of that. So, and you just go ahead and glue that on right here. Okay, sorry if you guys can hear some noise. My husband has no idea that I'm recording. He just got home from work. And then um, I forgot to moon punch that, but you definitely want to do that. So right here, and add your other pocket right there. So simple, you guys, right? Like, it looks complex, but it's really not. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and um, for those of you who want to, so if you don't need to know all these measurements, this is going to be the album itself. This is exactly what I did, but added all my embellishments. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, make this coin envelope, which you're going to take a six by six paper and um, that's what we're going to use. I tried to make this so that everything that you make is a six by six paper. six by six and we're gonna go ahead and score it at okay so half an inch and hold on, let me cut this down so half an inch And um, I'm so sorry. Hold on here. Do not look at that measurement. <laughs> okay, so half an inch and three and a quarter inch. And then flip it and score it at half an inch. I like to flip this and do it at three fourths. Okay, so that's going to be our um, measurement here. Now, actually, let's see here. Let's just hold this down. I want this to be the outside. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So that you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two off on the outer side. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut that little corner box off right there. And right here, and then grab that little corner right there, that little box, because this is going to be your lid. So this is a nice envelope out of just a six by six paper. So this is another envelope for those who love them. Okay. Go ahead and do all your folds. And I like to cut my corners. And I'm going to round off the top too. Oops, I'm not giving us time to dry. Mm 
Okay, and then we just want to take a little brad and do all that. I can't imagine, and for this one I'm using a half inch punch. Can you see that? It's a half an inch. EK. I'm just gonna punch a hole right there. And I definitely missed the middle again, you guys. <laughs> I'm really good at that. <laughs> It just kind of makes me cringe when I'm doing a tutorial and it's not even, but that's okay. I try not to even, like I scan through my videos and I don't even want to watch myself do them. I don't think anyone likes to see themselves film, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and skip the other brad just to speed this video up. So I'm going to hit and open it and this is where I would place my pocket. And voila, you guys, here is your book. Um, I don't have my embellishments ready, but I wanted to show you the basics um, of how to create this. And I just thought it'd be so fun and show you how easy it is. It looks crazy, but it's actually not. And you can make this any way you want, but let me show you the comparison because I don't have that much stuff in here. So you can see the thickness here and you can see it without too much in it. So it goes to show you that this is perfect for flat mail as long as you put like, you know, more, less chunkier things or all that in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I am reading and loving all the projects that you guys do. And um, I look at every single comment um, on my Instagram and here, and I just love seeing it. It's just awesome. So thank you guys.